the transfer from SMU, Vincent. Now, there he is, Bob Jones. He's been on the University of Georgia Athletics for 76 years. He's 85 years old. I talked to him yesterday. He's got some of the great stories. I tell you what, he's got more rings on his finger than Al Davis does. Now, watch. You see, he's got, look at all those championship rings. And he's got another one on his other finger for an all-time record. He's hanging around till he gets both hands. A set who buried somebody. And Williams got down to the 39. That is a fine piece of running by Hart. Third and four. The Georgia fans exhorting the defense, the Jeff Yard dogs to hold. Blitz. Hudson unloads him. Complete. And that was broken up by Terry Webster, number 60. And they finally put some pressure on Hudson. Beasley was also there on the coverage. Number 60. It's going to cover this with boy the pressure. Number 54, Guthrie's coming. Number 99 is coming up to the inside. And there's a lot of pressure. And he finally gets and knocks him down. I would not be surprised to see. Gap to 14 to 13. But again, that's the worst thing that we did offensively. Move the ball good, except we didn't put it in the zone. Brent Collins. Brent. Is second down five from the 42-yard line. Play fake and four sprinting out again. He's just going to tuck it and run it. Get nowhere. Brent Collins makes the stop for Georgia. Four has quick filling the nose chores for Georgia's defense. Now it's third down one. Four on the option. Dives forward and gets it. Out to the 40, go the Boilermakers. Well, they're tied right now. That's, you know, that's positive this, this year. First down 10 from the 40, Ivy Joe Hunter. That's about a yard off the left side. Terry Webster with a stop for the Auburn Tigers. Esther controlling the high snap. Donaldson takes it on the run at the Georgia 45 and is hit immediately. 6.15 left to play in the opening quarter. And With a turnover that has been costly. Mark Johnson from the five-yard line. And he gets out near the 25-yard line. They'll mark it at the 24, and that's for Vanderbilt. Coaches don't think that's a good idea. Brent's a tremendous special team player. He leads the special teams in talent. But that time, a little too much hustle. They'll spot the ball at the 41-yard line, first down Kentucky when they return. You're watching SEC football on the Turner Broadcasting System. I think it's thrown against 93, Brent Collins. Well, Brent is having a tough day on special teams. Uh, you see number 93 at the left bottom of your screen, uh, those little tours you take with the Kentucky. The Williams eyes the Georgia defense. The short man into the middle, Lancaster, and they have been using the fullback more here in the second half than they did in the first. And Lott are back deep to return it for Clemson. 5.38 on the clock. There's Wolford. Out to the 42-yard line. Georgia insisting they've recovered a fumble. The official will unwind up this third down for Clemson and five for a first down. Williams keeps it and he will stop short of the first down. Bill Goldberg, the nose man, number 95, led the distance 15. McFadden. Back to the 11-yard line. Brent Collins, linebacker, brings him down there. Steve Crumley, a straightaway place kicker. Will kick to Fullwood, standing at the two-yard line. Fullwood at the six. And he's tripped up as he reaches the 26. Kicking situation is the 10th of a second is an eternity. Georgia to kick it off. And Fullwood will take it to 10. And driven out of bounds at the 23-yard line. And Auburn will have 120. Just a second ago, as Crimley boots it high. And Watkins will take it at the 11. Comes to the near side of the field. He's at the 15, turns the field at the 20, the 25. And he's across the 30 before he is worth than three at the 35 officially. And Carpenter is waiting on the snap. He gets it off, it's gonna go high and really sail. Watch. 
Hopkins drops all the way back, takes it at the four, and then reverses the steal and is swarmed under at the four-yard line, and there's a flag on the play. First half. Well, Kerry catches the ball inside his own five-yard line. You should put your heels on the ten. If the ball goes over your head, you let it go in the end zone and take your chances. Steve Loden was trying to help out Kerry. Carpenter, it's kind of funny. Both the punters in this game are baseball, baseball players. Baseball players, yeah. Toronto Blue Jays interested in Chris, who's a great thrower and is also a great punter, as you can see. Lott back on the 18-yard line, got some room, gets through one man. He fumbles that football. Georgia football. Lott, number five, back to receive. Carpenter will move it away at about the 12-yard line. Strong rush is going to be a roughing the kicker penalty as Lott grabs it at the 30. We got a flag way back at the 13 as Carpenter. More pressure. Carpenter, who last time was roughed on a big rush, this time he gets it away with no problem, way up in the air. It's caught on the 17-yard line, and it's James Lott, and he's tackled big time by number 93, Brent Collins, the freshman linebacker. Now let's take a visit to the Clemson University campus. Meanwhile, unsuccessful on the third down opportunity, Chris Carpenter to punt, and he gets it off as James Lott. Back at his own 23, he slides through a couple defenders up to the 38-yard line where Clemson's offense will take over. See if they can't grab this lead. Brent Collins makes his second special teams tackle of the afternoon. Three-yard touchdown on play against Kentucky. Steve Griffin. 25-30, good return to the 33-yard line. And again, Brent Collins, who's been a madman on the special teams, gets down there in a hurry. Look at that tie down there. <laughs> 
have seven offensive and ten defensive starters returning. The most prominent member is tied in linebacker Brent Collins. Number 93, a preseason All-American and recruited all the way from Pitt to UCLA. I'm, I'm not really going to worry about it, you know. I'm just going to, it'll be a good thing if I can get it after the season, you know, but I'm not going to really worry about it. This year, you know, I'm more concerned about Tane having a good year. Jumping right into the fire facing Oak Ridge could make a lot of coaches nervous wrecks, but not Craig Kisabeth. Would you rather face a team uh, a little less potent as them to start off the season? Well, uh, you know, we look at it as we have to be ready for all of them. It doesn't matter whether it's the first game or the tenth game. We've got to be ready. And, you know, you're sure you're going to be green at the first, but uh, we expect them to have, a, you know, a few green spots too. So we're just hoping it will even itself out and uh, end up to be a real good ball game to uh, fall hard on both sides of the ball. It's definitely one of the biggest games of the season as the high school season opens its 85 campaign. From Jefferson City, Alan Williams. Blankenship Field, Wilfred's Tennessee. Richard Hayward at the wall with Rich Kane. So to bring you off. Angus Thomas prepares to kick the ball off again for Oak Ridge. And the ball is wrapped around the end of the air. Back to Oak Ridge. Oak Ridge will have it for the first time this year. Here's the In there, quarterback number 11, Dean Williams. He's 5'11", 175-pound junior. Williams is back, hands off to his running back, Greg Campbell. Campbell across the line, that's very true. As Oak Ridge comes to the line, second and 12. Dean Williams, the quarterback, hands off to 34, or excuse me, 32. That's James Witherspoon. Witherspoon tries to go up the center of the, the wood. gets called for the leg in. There we go. Quarterback Williams takes the ball, hands off to his running back. That's number 32, James Witherspoon. Well, it's very true. Zuck Ridge does come to the line on offense. And before the play gets underway, we have movement. But they say the play got underway. Williams takes the receive. They did a super job. Lynch holding Oak Ridge to only 50 yards rushing so far. D. Williams, the quarterback, takes the handoff. He turns around. Hands off. There's a fumble on the play. And it's recovered by the Patriots of Jefferson County. The All-State at that time, Mitch Brett Collins, right in the on top to get it done on his football time in East Tennessee. And Richard is the Jefferson County Patriot marching band, plays Rocky Top. The Big Blue rolls onto the field. Yes, they do, Vince. Um, 50 strong, the Big Blue of Jefferson County. Sean Easton brings his team to the line. His backs are in the high formation. First Swafford, then Pollard. Takes the ball. The pitch back goes to 22. That's Solomon Fletcher. Fletcher tries to get down the right side, and he's sacked for a loss on the play by number 93, Brent Collins. Sidelines. So for Jefferson County, cross up under center, takes the ball. He's going to pass out in the flats. Pass good to Brent Collins, number 93, at the 35-yard line. Collins takes the ball, moves on across the 40, and with Easton in there at quarterback. His, his backs are in the eye formation. Turns, hands off to... No, he's going to drop back and pass. And Richard, that pass is in. Easton up under center. He takes the snap, turns around, hands off to Swafford. And Swafford is hit hard. And it's big play time by the big blue defense as Easton comes to the line. His back's still in the eye formation. Easton turns around, the handoff goes once again to Pollard. Pollard fumbles the ball in the end zone. It's recovered by Jefferson Kelly. The Jefferson County Patriots, the state's top-ranked AAA team and number 16 in the nation, have
posted some impressive stats defensively this season. Opponents have averaged a paltry 4.3 points a game and only 84 yards in total offense. When you have nine returning starters on the defensive squad that has had the experiences they've had, it, it does help. It is an aggressive defense. We, we love the stunt. We feel like that uh, we can make a lot of things happen with the stunts. It has been effective and hopefully it will be effective in the future. The heart and soul of this stingy unit are the middle linebackers. Seniors Jeff Jarnigan, 6 feet 230, and Brent Collins, 6'2", 220 pounds. No wonder opponents average just over 27 yards rushing a game. Our defense is, we've been playing together, most of the people on our defense since we are in middle school. And we've kind of, you know, grown up learning football together, and we play as a team. It's an aggressive type of football stuff and stuff, and it's, it's real good, and I like it a lot. Teams come in here, they, they could bother themselves with the defense life, with the rushing statistics like that. We just like going out there. The whole defense is just great. As Coach Kisabeth believes in attacking defensively. His Patriots rally to their coach's call. We want to make the offense adjust to our defense instead of us having to adjust to the offense. The name of the game here in Jefferson County is defense. Greenville invades tonight in what shapes up to be a battle between District 2 AAA unbeatens. Don't expect the Patriots to allow too many Green Devil points. At Jefferson County High School, Bill Dyke, New Center 26. Now our captains down below, Brent Collins and Mark Moore, along with Johnny Jennings, will be going out to meet the Greenville captains. Center Tennessee, pitch game. Thank you, Richard. Here comes Weems' kicks. It's a low kick and bouncing down the field, taking by a nut back at the 25-yard line. Back to the 30. 40, 40, going all the way, possibly 45, 40, and knock it the bones as it goes down to the Greenville 42 yard line. Here's the play. DeBus drops back, fakes the handoff to number 26, Jackson. Jackson uh, leading tacklers up to the 40-yard line and moves the ball across to the line. Jefferson County on defense. Here's DeBus. He's going to pass. He drops back, fakes. Pass over the, over the middle is complete. And that time the receiver wrestled down and brought back about five. Split. To the near side is Cardley, to the far side is Marty Story. The bus takes the ball, he's going to fake the pitch, and he's going to keep, and he's going to run, and he's going to be dropped at the line of scrimmage. That time the bus kept the ball, and he was dropped. And Roger Anton and Bobby Nickerson. Quarterback takes the ball, turn around, handoff to Roger Anton. Anton around the left side, across the 35-yard line, Richard down. Step in. Adams takes the ball, decides to run it himself around the left side, and Richard and he's got his backs in the wishbone formation. The handoff goes to 42. That time is Mickey comes to the line, Ted Adams. The backs are split. The pitch back goes to 42. And 42 is Mickey Onks, and that degree Celsius makes it 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Richard follows in the air, and football fever for the first down. Quarterback Shannon Cross. The backs are split. Cross at the line of scrimmage. Takes the ball, turn around, he's going to pass downfield. It's complete to Brent Collins at the 50, 45, breaking tackles to the 40 and run out of bounds at the 38-yard line of Morristown East goes a streaking number 93, Brent Collins. A great pass. Turning the Delaware wing tee on offense. In the backfield, number 32, Freddie Woods, and also number 40, Todd Morgan. Quarterback number 12, Hank Smith, turn around, handoff down goal from the 11-yard line. Now we're ready to play. Smith is your quarterback. He'll turn around, pass downfield. No, he won't. He's dropped to the turf, Richard. He fumbles the ball and is picked up by number seven, Joe West. From the 39-yard line, Morristown East comes to the line with Hank Smith, the quarterback. Smith will turn around. He fakes the handoff under pressure once again, and he's trying to outrun it. He'll pass downfield. It's complete to number 20, Chris Cole, and that time Cole has run out of bounds by number 93, Brent Collins. Or check that. The quarterback this time, number 10, Todd Henderson. Henderson's out of the shotgun formation this time. The snap, Henderson's back to pass. And Henderson has nowhere to go as blitzing in from his linebacking position, number 93. A uh, junior, 5'10", 175, a senior. The Eagles of Ray County are on offense, led by Andy Kelly, their fine quarterback. Andy Kelly calling the signal at the line. He'll turn around, hand off to the first back three. That's Swafford. That's Swafford will go across the line of scrimmage. Richard, there's a fumble on the play at Jefferson. Five yards to go from the 49 of Jefferson County with 38 ticks on the clock here in the first quarter. Here's the play. The fake handoff once again, Richard. That time they got to him. Changed at that time. Great pressure being applied by 93. Brent Collins. Full on third down with nine yards to go. The Patriots need something in a big way right here. 
Shannon Cross takes the ball, and it's a reverse handoff to 93. Brent Collins. Collins around the 50, across the 45, down to the 40, and run out of bounds down at the 35-yard line of Ray County. Goes a streaking number 93, Brent Collins. With the line up under center checking off, now takes the snap. The late handoff goes to 32. That's Swafford once again, and Swafford might have got a yard, maybe two. Andy Kelly, your quarterback, brings this team to the line. His backs are split in Swafford and Bartley. Takes the snap, turn around, the handoff goes to number 35, Kenny Everett. This Brent Collins. So on second down, here is Andy Kelly checking off at the line of scrimmage. Kelly drops back, takes the handoff. He's going to pass. The pass out, the pass complete to number 32, Robert Swafford. Swafford is at the 25-yard lines and run out of bounds. They've been able to do it so far for much of the night, and they do it here in the close of minutes. With Swafford in the backfield, here's Andy Kelly. Kelly to pass. Kelly's pass complete. And what? I should say Miller and Sparks in the backfield as Shannon Cross takes the ball, drops back a quick pass once again, complete. A great grab by Brent Collins across the 40-yard line and down position of the night. The backs are split. The handoff Manning. Manning met at the line of scrimmage. Side along with 86, Tim Campbell. The backs are split. Blair drops back. He wants to pass. Good protection once again. Pass is intercepted. Jefferson County. 93, Brent Collins intercepts the pass at the Jefferson County. Many unbeaten. They hope to stay that way. Second and eight, handoff, this time to the second man through, and he'll gain two yards on the play, and that's about it. The player for Cherokee. Kate and Auburn, these are just three schools recruiting Jefferson County linebacker Brent Collins. Just about every major college, including Tennessee, would like to have him. Bill like has more on this superstar with super talents. In football recruiting jargon, he is a blue chipper. Standing 6'3 and weighing 220 pounds, Jefferson County middle linebacker Brent Collins is the force of a Patriot defense that has led the way to a 9-0 mark with one game to go in the high school regular season. We've kind of, you know, grown up learning football together and we play as a team. I think that's one of the main keys to our defense right now. We all love the Lord and just go all out every game. We like hitting people. An excellent athlete, um, probably the best athlete that I've ever been associated with since I've been in high school. The good thing about Brent is that he's a team player. He comes out here and plays as a, as a member of the team and, and gives it all he's got, as, as well as everybody else on the team is concerned. With. I think that uh, all these awards just given me by the Lord, the talent and ability he's given me. I'm just thankful that you know, I'm able to come out here and play football with a great bunch of guys like this and to play for a good coaching staff like we've got at our high school. Mr. Collins is a fortunate young man. USA Today rated him the third best prospect in the country. He will choose where to go to college. But for now, Brent Collins and the Jefferson County Patriots are looking for a district in a Class AAA state championship. Bill Dyke, New Center 26 Sports. The Patriots will try for a perfect 10-0 regular season mark Friday night as they play at Newport. Nice to play up here at Hedrick Field at Newport. Of course, the captains for Newport, number 20, Tony Swaggerty, in at tailback. Elliott turns around, hands off, and this time he's tackled by the Back once again, here comes that man in motion. Elliott takes the ball, handoff, and... 
the back is Kurt Elliott. Elliott takes the ball. This time he'll hand off real quick, and there's a fumble on the play. It's recovered by who? It's Jefferson County's on defense. Big board on offense. The handoff goes to Davidson. He goes nowhere. A gain of three on the play at the most. Moving the ball up to the third. Cyclones, their captains tonight. Of course, Brent Collins, Mark Moore. Three plays later, Shannon Cross connects with tight end Brent Collins for 11 yards and a Jefferson County touchdown. 7-0 Patriots. County on top, 7-0. The handoff this time goes to the second man through and fighting for yardage, moving the ball up. That quarterback, Shannon Cross, brings his team to the line. Checking off at the line of scrimmage, now takes the snap, drops back, and wants to pass. This time the pass will be down and complete. Brent Collins to the 15. Collins struck down at the 10, and he'll move inside the 10 to the 9-yard line, 93. At the 20-yard line of the Patriots on first down, handout 42 at the line of scrimmage, and that's all you'll get. Corey Ellis carrying the ball that time, hit first by Brent Collins. This method comes to the line, first and 10, quarterback Jeff Berry is sworn. Berry dropped back. Randy Miller and Mark Moore in the backfield. Number 89, Todd Collins in the lineup. This time, quarterback Shannon Cross keeps. Pitch back, Mark Moore. Moore across the far side of the field. 30. Moore, 25, 20. Inside the 15. Breaking tackle. You can draw all the way. 10 and drag down. That's great size for a high school. He's under center, and here's the play. Quarterback Calpe drops back, pitch to 34, and close to a first down. As Calpe brings his team to the line, this time Calpe will drop back, pass once again, and he's sacked, fumbles the ball. It's recovered by the Jefferson County Patriots. That time, Calpe team to the line. The backs are split, and Calpe checks off at the line of scrimmage. Now takes the ball, pitch back this time, 34. 34 breaking tackles before he's finally brought down. And what will be the call? The call will be that number 34 in situation now hands off up the middle. Up the middle with it, Gash. Gash to the 45, 40. And Gash down to the Patriot 33 yard line. Is that time Gash fools? The Patriots lose their big man, Brent Collins, early in the second quarter when he's hitting the side. Brent Collins, a major injury. He suffered a hit pointer late in the first half, which is just one of a multiple Jefferson County injuries. Three players. And Shannon Cross. Cross six foot one inch. 175 pounds, he's a senior. In this team to the line, with that potent backfield, the wing back in there, Kelly checks off, turns around, hand off this time to the wing back. Wing back having nowhere to go. That time, Kenny Evitt carries the ball. From Shannon Cross brings his team to the line. Jennings to the far side, Seals to the near side. Quarterback Shannon Cross drops back to pass. Cross fires the pass out complete. 93, Brent Collins. Collins takes it at the 45, moves it down to the 42. The original line of scrimmage, where he's brought down by a host of Ray County. First down. Fourth quarter now, Ray County on the move, but J.C.'s Brent Collins intercepts on the one. The Pioneer, the Patriots, dodge the bullet. Sally, All-America team. First, the defense. In the defensive line, Ward Manuel, 6 feet 6, 260 pounds from Brother Martin High School in New Orleans. He's honorary captain of the Valley All-America defense. Linebacker Mark Spencer, 6'5", from Seaholm High School in Birmingham, Michigan. 391 career tackles. His team had a 26-game winning streak. And linebacker Brent Collins, 6'3", 220, from Jefferson County High School, Dandridge, Tennessee. And John Foley, linebacker, 6'4", 240, 
St. Rita High School, the Chicago Catholic League, one of the best in Chicago. Or Bearden, as they come to the line at the 30-yard line of 35 of the Patriots. Davis rolls back and is going to be plastered and dropped for a loss back to the line. Rolls takes the ball, rolls out, looks down the field for a receiver, still has the ball, pass goes downfield to Collins. Collins breaks one tackle across the 15 down to the 12 yard. Third and five Patriots, the ball at their own 21 yard line. Rolls takes the ball, rolls back, pass out complete to Collins. Collins across the 30, 35, and run out of bounds at the 37 yard line. Sure. In rear. Pollard takes the ball, pitch back. Goes to Swalford. Swalford trying to get outside, unable to do so. Is caught over on the left side. Dropped across the way. Miller and Sparks remain in backfield. Quarles takes the ball. Pass complete to Collins. Collins looks downfield for a block. It's going to be knocked out of bounds at the 41. Lears come to the line in the wishbone. And off goes to number 15, Eddington. Eddington across the 25. Brought down at the 20. That's the line, second and two. Shifting now into the eye formation. Cobb will be the standing back. And off goes to Cobb. Cobb is going to be racked up and dropped for a loss by Brent Collins. Also in on the stop as Quarles brings his team to the line. Quarles with the ball. Pass out. It's going to be complete to Brent Collins. Collins with his team to the line. Lenore and Cobb remaining in the backfield. Muller takes the ball. Thought about a pitch. Now will be met and fumbles the ball. And Jefferson County has recovered by the Bobcats. Mull at quarterback for Knox Central. Fumble on the play. Mull picks it up and will ramble up to the 24-yard line. We'll call it a gain of one on this way will be Scott. Pitchback goes to deep man Hill. Hill looking for a block. Unable to find one is going to be dropped after a gain of one by number 93, Brent Collins. Second and three. Takes the snap. Pitchback goes to Moore. Moore needs a block. There it is. 15, 10, 5. Once again, Shipe Sabat in the backfield, drops back, pass over the middle, incomplete. Intended out there for Drew Bowman. Quarles takes the ball, drops back, pass complete out here to Brent Collins. 45, 50, breaks one tackle, 45, and it's... Goodson at quarterback takes the snap, handoff goes to McMakin. McMakin head in his own backfield, moves across the 40 up to about the 41 yard line. His team trailing 23 to nothing. They have the ball first and 10. Handoff goes to McMakin. McMakin is going to be thrown to the ground by number 93, Brent Collin, 18. Goodson steps in at quarterback, turns, hands off to the first back through. That's McMakin. And once again, McMakin is going to be twisted of downs. Quarterback Gooden turns and hands it off to McMakin. McMakin across the 15 up to the 18-yard line. Gain in this third quarter. Goodson turns, hands off to Jeff Smith in the backfield for Cherokee. He rambles up to the 27, possibly the 28-yard line. As Gooden comes to the line. Handoff goes to number five, McMakin. And McMakin going to first quarter. No score. The Patriots to the line first and 10. Quarles takes the ball, rolls back, pass out, complete to Collins. Collins up across the 45 to the 46 to the 47 yard line would be once again. Will be Hal. Brian to the line, third and six. Brian takes the ball, a Utah pass up to Wolf, and Wolf is going to be dropped after a gain of about two yards by number 93, Brent Collins. Quarles comes the line, rolls back, looks, pass out complete to Collins. Collins breaks, tackles, into the end zone, touchdown, Jefferson County. Brent Collins on the receiving end of that. Goes straight up the middle across the 30 down to the 28 yard line. Tim Smith, Moore and Miller remain in the backfield for Jefferson County and there's movement on the play. Pass comes to Brent Collins. Collins gets down very close to the 20 yard line and there's a late hit and it's finally been called. That's Smith and Wolf. Brian takes the ball, handoff goes to Wolf. Wolf is going to be stacked up at the 20 yard line by Brent Collins. Never close this way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Never close Third and seven. 
Large takes a snap, rolls back, pressure being applied, looks down the field, he's going to be wrapped up and sacked in his own backfield by Brent Collins. Nine, third and one, his back's in the eye formation. And off goes to Haney. Haney is going to be stacked up by Brent Collins. Short of a first over on the left side. Fight turns, come on to play, and it's been recovered by the Patriots of Jefferson County High School. Behind third and nine at the Viking 34. Worlds pass, complete to Collins. Collins breaks outside. He may go in. He gets on 10, 5. Touchdown, Jefferson County. Yes, we're doing a football game. Yes, ma'am, from Bristol High School. Takes a snap, rolls back, pressure being applied from the back side, pass out. And White takes the ball, pitch back goes to Daggs. Daggs being pursued, eluding tacklers, finally wrapped up along the line of scrimmage by Brent Collins. 48, King out on the right side. And off goes to Banks. The Banks is going to be knocked down by a blitzing Brent Collins back at the 49 yard line of Bristol in the backfield for the Wildcats. Otterdean turns, handoff goes to Menifee. Menifee across Thomas and Green. Otterdean stands up, drops back, looks, pressure coming. Going to be run out of the backfield and finally wrestled to the turf by Brent Collins. For the defense, the clock down to one. Otterdean takes a snap, rolls back, pressure coming. And Otterdean is going to be sacked back at the 19 yard line by Johnny Jennings and Brent Collins. We come for the Patriots. Snap comes back to Williams. Williams gets the kick away. Cup will come forward and take the football at the 16 yard line looking for a wall of blockers. Picks up several blockers. He may go down the sidelines. One man to beat. 40, 45, 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Ralston to the line. Pitch back. Fake pitch back goes to House. Come on the play. Ball bouncing around. It's been picked up by Jefferson County. Johnny Jennings with that football. 35 30. He may be brought down from the rear. Finally stopped it. Line fourth and short. Moore goes in motion. Quarles takes a snap. Pass to Moore. Into the line first and 10. House the standing tailback. Handoff goes to House. And House is going to be weighed at fullback. House at tailback. Pitch back goes to House. House trying to get outside. Unable to do so. Wrestled to the ground by Johnny Jennings as well as Brent Collins. First and 10. Patriots. Pitch back goes to House. House looking for running room. Finds none. It's going to be dropped. Seconds left to go. Head off goes to 